Hello friends, how are you doing? I hope that you're doing well. We just got back late last night from Seward. We had an amazing time. Even though half of it was in the rain, we just had such a good time hanging out and then it got sunny, which you can't ask for anything better than that being in Seward. It just is so beautiful and was so warm and we had so much fun. So we, I left you off. We were getting ice cream before we came home from Seward and we actually got on the road and there was a sign saying that they were going to close the highway from 10 p.m. until like 5 a.m. the next morning at, so I looked down at the clock and it is like 8.10 and we are pretty much cutting it super close. And luckily we had a tent in the car so we knew that we could just pull off and find a campsite and um, probably camp for the night but I was really hoping to get home. We pulled through at 9.55 and there was a cop on each end ready to shut the road down for the night. So we were so grateful that we made it home and now I'm currently doing laundry so that we can pack up and leave again tonight. So it was nice to sleep in our beds for one night and to get a shower and get all uh, just cleaned up and now we are frantically trying to pack up and get ready for our next adventure in Sutton. I have a sad little boy that wants to do what? What do you want to do? <laughs> he wants to go to the skate park, but I have so much to do to get ready to go and we've been at the skate park every day in Seward, so I think he's going to survive and I'm going to go finish getting things ready. Now it may seem kind of extreme to go from one camping trip to the next to the next all like within a day of each other, but this is summer in Alaska when the weather is good or if it's not, you just have to take advantage of it. We're getting close to the solstice, which means that it's like sunny all day long and we just feel like we have to take advantage of it these couple weeks where it's just amazing. And so that is why we are jumping from one trip to the next. and. The trip to the cabin coincides with when Mark had asked for time off. So we are just taking advantage of it. I'm having to keep a list of things that I still need to find for each bag or I will never remember who needs socks, who needs a swimming suit, because some of this stuff is I'm waiting to pull out of the laundry. So. I'm keeping it all in a list. Bennett is our resident baker here and he is going to make us cookies. He decided all on his own that he wanted to make cookies to take camping with us. So he's gonna make us some chocolate chip cookies. It has been quite stressful trying to get everything repacked and unpacked and but I think we're about ready to go and head out. Okay, Hunter, let's get it. all packed. Oh, careful. Four wheeler is packed. Carl and Grandpa's truck and trailer and we are heading out in about 10 minutes. So we made it to camp just as it started to pour, or rain, it's not pouring, but 
my kids just rain doesn't seem to phase them too much they have a harder time with heat but this is actually the perfect place to be if it's hot because there's a lake here they swim in it they go on the rope swing so Bennett has already gotten in the water we've only been here about 10 minutes we're about to set up camp hunters already fishing no surprise there and we're gonna have some fun see you in a while Everett and Weston fell asleep on the way here, and so they've been asleep in the car ever since. So we just set up to camp and just successfully moved them into their beds. So fingers crossed, they are out for the night and we can just enjoy our evening. It's actually after 10 o'clock and look how light out it is. This is summer in Alaska. Alright, it is 11.37 at night and we, the boys are still fishing. It is still light out and our friends just got here and are going to set up. Oh, Alright, and Hunter just caught another fish. Come here. It's 11.40. 11.40. I'll fish until 3 in the morning. Careful that. So when they call it land of the midnight sun, this is what they mean. You just go, go, go all summer. Even at midnight. And it's even not even it's even a little bit darker because it's overcast. Alright, it is 12.05. Mark and I are heading to bed. We're trying to convince Hunter to stop fishing. And Bennett's getting in his tent. I'll show you their setup. Why is there not a screen another part of the door? You don't need it. Alright, these boys are set up in here. that fly rod. For my birthday two years ago, I think. Uh, I think Dad got it for me. Mom bet you that. I think we can find another rock. That's fine. Uh, he gave it to me a while ago. I'll try and pick something that looks like a bug mm -hmm. you've seen. I know, but it needs like a mosquito fly. Yeah. But it has to float, so I think I know which one I'll try. You want it floating? Yeah, it's floating. Ah, that one looks
Have fun. Where are you going? Okay, you get a fish. Have fun. Funny. So the sun has come out and the boys are ready to do the rope swing. The rope swing. So we're gonna oh, go it, and watch going. the boys. Do going, their... going. Look at that. Oh yeah? Okay, we're gonna go over and be with them. Can you turn around and say hi? Hi, 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 hi. You're gonna paddle with your hands. We have just had so much fun today. The guys, the, all the dads have actually been on a four-wheeler ride for like the last almost three hours. So hopefully they're okay and make it back safe.
Okay, one thing that makes camping as an adult bearable is that when I was in high school, my dad bought this little porta potty and then he bought this little tent and he lets us bring it and it's had some of the most amazing views um, around the state over the years and so he let us bring that along and it's one of the best things that we can bring along <laughs> to make it so that we don't have to go out in the woods. <laughs> Up here we are looking for fossils. There are plant fossils of leaves and ferns and sticks and then every once in a while you'll find a snail. So this is where they used to do, there used to be a coal mine and so they've kind of dug up these fossils on this ledge. What do you got cooking here? Fish. Did you help catch that? Yeah, I reeled it. Ooh, -hoo. okay, good I job. Are you on the I like you can. Okay, Grant, you need to get it down there where it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Keep it down even further if you can. Mm. Oh. Yummy. Uh, I have my shoulder. Uh, I maybe. Okay, you want to go to bed? Yes. Okay, you can lay on my shoulder. No. Okay. Uh, you know, just, I just go like this. Uh, no. Oh. I want a and a Let's do it. 
Just me. Just you and me? No, not you. Not you? Not me? Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Say good night. Good night. Okay, go on in. Get you in your jammies. Mm -hmm. Some help. Okay. Some help. Let's get okay. Let's do it. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming along with us to Sutton. We hope you enjoy these amazing views and adventures with us. Let us know down in the comments where are you watching from and tell us what is your favorite part of this trip. If you like our videos, please hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you so much for watching. The fun is not over yet. We will see you soon for Sutton Trip Part 2.